absolute winner here. Uh, Graffitism issue number 10. So this is March 1998, this one. And... Uh, We've got a whole load of good stuff in it. I'm just going to get into it because I'm going to waste time chatting and uh, we're going to miss the uh, the contents. And uh, I always have to do the, the bit of hurry up at the end. A trainer baked into a pie. Nice. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Look at these. Look at these. So these are, these are underground trains. Uh, that looks like... That looks like it was probably like 80, uh, late 80s into 90s. That's when that style was going. Oh, in fact, there you go, 89. Um, beautiful, absolutely beautiful window lane panel piece, that one. And one by cast. These are proper, like, I mean, the style. I could, I could just look at that for 10 minutes. So good. Also, look at these hand styles. Absolutely beautiful hand styles. Beautiful. Oh, there's never been a better time. In my opinion, uh, well, maybe maybe a year or two before um, was even even more exciting, but so good. That looks like mode two. That is mode two, isn't it? Yeah, um, I think it is. Stet, this guy's a great writer. I don't know what Stet's doing now. I think he does fine art now. I think he does as he's you know he's sort of moved into that world. Still graph based, I think, but um, oh yeah, beautiful, love it. Love a, you know, I love a bit of black book work. Black book is an art form all of its own now. Unity 5. So um, this is 97, this is happening. Unity 5. Here we go, solar pieces. Ooh, there's some good stuff here. Oh, um, interesting. So you've got... Days, da, da, da. That looks like a mode two piece. Yeah, that's a mode two piece there. Days, days. That's a that's by Ben Ein when he was still doing graph. Uh, what have we got here? We've got Drax. We've got. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm not sure actually. I'm not sure. I, I used to see this style all over the place. I mean, it says those, but is it those? Not sure. I can't remember. You know, like I said, my memory is that, that looks like Prime. That's Prime. I'm pretty sure that's Prime. That looks like Wreck. No, no, sorry, not Wreck. She uh, from Brighton. You know, I wish I could remember. This is going back too far for me now. Um, I, I just remember all these styles, though. Let me look at these styles. I, I, uh, I can't remember. Oh, that's annoying. Anyway. Anyway. Um, that looks like... Is that a Snatch? I'm pretty sure that's Snatch. God, I could play this game all day, couldn't I? Of... Uh, of desperately uh, trying to remember stuff from uh, from 25, 30 years ago. Good luck. Another mode two there. So I get very excited when I do remember something. Look at all these great freights. Oh, this is Cambridge. I never went up here. Uh, 96. All these are done, it says there. God, they got busy up there, didn't they? Amazing. Oh, there's a set train just there. Right. Oh, wow. Advert for Bond International. Bond International is a great store. We all love Bond International. It was on Newburgh Street in uh, in Soho, just off Carnaby Street. And it was, a, oh, it was a fantastic store. I tell you, there's a few broken hearts when, uh, when Bond International closed its doors to be replaced by some... It's the rubbish. Oh, look at this. Zombie Teach Fume DDS Crew. Love all that. Oh, I love it. Oh, look at this. This is like so. A bit of DDS Black Book for you. Teach. Teach. Oh, teach pieces. Fume. Look at that fume. Look at how much style 
so much style. Bonafide Legends, right? DDS. Look at it, love it. Love that kind of you know DIY feel to it. Zombies characters. Nice little zombie train there. So good. So so good. Teach Fume again. Really great. A lot of interview stuff in this kind of stuff as well. Loads and loads of interview stuff. I'm not really that fussed anymore. I've been talking to writers, you know, for 30, 35 years, so I'm not that bothered anymore. Except, <laughs> having said that, Casby and Coma. Look at this. So Casby and Coma were old school London writers, and they were the first ones to really, they're some of the first London writers to really drop burners on trains and walls. And that is a really iconic piece. I think that piece was in um, Bomb the Bases uh, video, in fact, that Casby piece, painted at uh, Leopard Grove Pit up in uh, Westbourne Park. For those of you who know, off Portobello Road, up there, West London, Coma, that's a very, very iconic train, that one. So great, Casby. I believe he painted again recently. I believe somebody mentioned to me. This guy's an amazing artist, Stet. Look at these. I mean, look at those pieces. Painted 95, 96, these pieces. Absolutely beautiful. Look at the colour. Look at the colour work on them. So good. Combining colours like that is not easy. This guy makes it look effortless. So good. Big interview with him there. Sept 148, so you can see this is what Sept has done over the years. Again, old school, proper old bomber, great stuff. Big interview of Mo Tour. That was painted in um, Soho in New York. I saw that piece in the flesh, and next to it, just up here, there was a Delta piece, one of the the be most beautiful Delta pieces ever painted. Just fantastic. That was an amazing wall. That wall. I've got pictures of it somewhere. I should dig them out, really. Look at that for a beautiful wall as well. Look at those letters. Sort of little like bits of broken robot. Just amazing. Two gorgeous characters in silhouette. Just makes it live, doesn't it? His backgrounds as well. Just amazing. Inspirational work. When he was still working in paint, he doesn't work in paint anymore because he's uh, he has problems with the fumes. Um, I've had the same problem with fumes. Uh, developed sensitivity to fumes. Or I have to wear a mask whenever I paint. Look at this. Look at the character in that and that face there. So good. That famous one as well. Probably shouldn't dwell on that. Um, gorgeous characters. Just fantastic. And he does letters as well. <laughs> So you've got letter pieces that he's dropped there. No. Yeah, brilliant. Just brilliant. That looks like a Delta piece. Oh, it is Delta. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Delta piece. Great writer, Delta. Love the stuff he does nowadays as well, but I loved his, his old graph stuff even more. Fabulous writer. Yeah, what's all this? Don't know. Dangerous land. Interesting stuff. Croc. Yeah. Look at that. I mean, it's really innovative. The ideas in that. It's cartoony and reminds me of Beetlejuice and sort of mad ideas thrown together. Interesting fills and I remember all this stuff from the 90s. Don't see it anymore, obviously, because. Everything's moved on, but it was a great time. Such a great, inventive time it was. The 90s laid a lot of foundation for what happened next, obviously. Oh, it's obviously the same, but you know what I mean. Sweat. Oh, look at that. Look at the style of that. What an amazing carriage that is. Just brilliant. Look at 
of new stuff for somebody moving. Bits and pieces. These are all a bit small for me nowadays. I can't really see them that well. Sadly. Oh, that's a great old uh, knackered up husk of a train, isn't it? Oh, gorgeous. Fuel. Again, London legend. I wish these were a bit bigger. Or I had more powerful glasses. Yeah, these are great. So great. Oh, look at that. So that, that's, yeah, that's 87, that one. Foam and fuel. Old school king stuff, this one. You just look at that style. Anybody who's painting around. So I started this year, 87. So I was like a proper toy in this year. <laughs> and these guys were doing this. And I was looking at this stuff going, oh my God, it's just the best stuff I've ever seen in my entire life. That style just really remember, really reminds me of that time. And the, the feel and the way the arrows came off at the side and all that stuff. Oh God, so good. So good. Loads of hand style stuff. And something about it just, I mean, I just looked at that stuff and just went, oh, the, you know, it was an art. The, the, the way that, the way that spray paint looks, um, Particularly in those days, because we didn't have any flash paint, the best you could get was bunt lac, really. And the way it looked, with that sort of flary effect on it all the time, it was just, I just fell in love with it from where I go, really. That was it. Hooked. Look at that, that's a Mode 2 t-shirt for 25 quid. If only, right? <laughs> if only you could get one of them nowadays. And look at this. Graffiti writing magazines and books. So you've got explicit graphics on the run. You've got Bode's Erotica, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, he ain't got five. Uh, that's Lizard Zen. But look, you've got, you've got four ero erotica books there. They're £8.25. Breaks your heart, doesn't it? That probably cost you 150 quid if you were to buy it today. If you could even get hold of a copy. Breaking graffiti writing videos. Still selling video. Of course, this is 98. So... so. DVD was, was only just uh, making an appearance. Oh, look at this. So this is so this is an advert for Deal Real Records and Knoll Street. So uh, we all miss this place as well. So I used to be full of these sort of places. And um, they're all gone now. They're all gone. All little independent traders like Tony Deal Real. Uh, they're all gone because London has become this sort of this sort of uh, billionaire's playground, really. Uh, and uh, so I was absolutely full of, you know, very hip, very expensive shops. Everything costs a fortune. And uh, yeah, those of us in the know, we all really missed these sorts of places when it was grimy, covered in hand style, you know, all that. Really missed that London. That London is long gone. I mean, that's what, 24 years ago. I can't even remember. About 10 years ago, I, re I reckon, deal real. You know, I'm saying that. It was probably a lot, lot longer because I've lost all track of time. So I remember they, they, when they closed their doors, though, it was a, a very sad, sad day. That's nice, isn't it? Very nice, that. I don't know who done it. That's a lovely thing. And that's Stet again. That's about there for a bit of use of colour. Beautiful with a black book. Stylish. Lots of colour. Super. There you go. So, Graphitism, issue 10, March 1998. Coming to the end of the 90s. Well, still another year to go before we hit 2000, obviously. Uh, if I can get some more of these to show you, I will do. Um, they're worth quite a lot of money now uh, because they're rare, because it um, turns out <laughs> writers don't really look after their stuff very well, um, including me. Most of my stuff's gone, but uh, but some of it's still around. So, uh, so there you go, graphicism, number 10.